with that grain of salt, the thing that I would say that I thought was very profound when I heard it was... Everybody comes on Tech Notes, we ask them a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, one is about tech. Okay. A favorite piece of technology or equipment or an instrument uh-huh. that you can't work without? Yeah. Uh, Software-wise, I got to give it up for the plugin Omnisphere. That plugin is on 99% of every song I've ever made at this point in time. It's just one of those plugins that's like too good not to turn to. It's so vast. It has so many different things that... I really, it's it's just a masterpiece of a plugin. Um, in terms of hardware, a uh, huge fan of the the Fender Acoustasonic these days. I think that's a really cool instrument. The other question we like to ask people is about advice, whether okay. through experience yeah. or through the wisdom of somebody else, you've yeah. picked up a piece of advice that you would want to share or pass on to other people. Sure. Um, I wish that advice was more broad i feel like everybody's career in the same field is so weirdly different that i could give advice that worked well for me that would be the wrong advice for somebody else which is just sort of par for the course and i feel like you watch these sort of like seminars at berkeley or whatever and people say like one thing and it's applicable for some people and not others so with that grain of salt the thing that i would say that I thought was very profound when I heard it was um, a mastering engineer when I was like 13 who was like a friend's dad. I called him and was like, how do I make my song loud? Which is such a thing you say when you're first figuring out how to learn how to produce music. And he told me about like limiters. I didn't know what a limiter was. And then he said, he said, listen, it's really important that you understand the delineation between the correct way to do something and whether you like it or not. He was like, you know, everyone in the music world is going to tell you why you did something incorrectly you know there's oh that's too loud that's too this that's too this and he was like it's really important to to like something or not like it because your taste is what really matters and it's also going to be your greatest defense if somebody goes oh that vocal sounds the vocal's too compressed that's true if you don't like the way it sounds that might be the reason but if you go no no no, i i compressed it that way on purpose i like it even if it was an accident if you like how it sounds then it's the correct way because taste is taste is everything so i remember that being very profound and i've always thought about that especially as a self-taught person where i've i'm always doing something wrong but my defense is like do i think it sounds good or not and uh if i do then it's then it's correct even if i did it wrong (laughs) 